Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're gonna cover three ways to make a beat in Logic. Follow along. All right guys, so here are three ways to make a beat in Logic. Uh, one of the ways is super simple. Just track in the samples and place them wherever you, wherever you feel like. Uh, normally when I do it this way, I would be doing it for EDM or pop type music. Uh, because the kick is always on the same spot, snare is usually on the same spot, stuff like that. Uh, I use my samples from Splice. I love Splice. There's a lot of good samples there. Uh, this is my favorite kick, by the way. Uh, I use it for most of my pop stuff. Uh, the snare and hi-hat, just some random stuff that I don't necessarily use, but that doesn't matter for this tutorial. Uh, just play the beat. It's, yeah, a really boring beat, actually, but that doesn't matter it's just for the tutorial all right so that's one way that we can make a beat um, the next one is the sampler logic actually has a new sampler uh, just called the sampler it used to be ESX 24 and I'm pretty familiar with that I'm not familiar with this at all since it's probably the third time or something that I opened this up so something to get familiar with uh, so basically, uh, <clears throat> the way I would do it, because when I'm making like hip hop beats, I like to play in the beat rather than build it up. It's just more natural and not always do I want everything exactly on the beat, depending on the genre and stuff. So I'll just drag this in. Uh, you can drag it in from your sample pack or whatever, but I'm just doing it this way. Okay, so I've dragged in the samples and then obviously you can take a sample, you can map it out to more keys to get different tones and whatever, but I'm just doing it super simple this time. Uh, uh, okay, here we are. Okay, so let's put the metronome on and let's play something. Okay, um, obviously got some latency issues that I need to figure out. Well, there's one way at least. We can play it in like that, or we can use Ultra Beat. Um, I've used it a few times, especially when I started out. I thought it was really cool. And I've even made a bunch of uh, like samples. So pretty much you just place your samples in here and then you can either play them in like I just did with the sampler or you can uh, you can just uh, like click them in. So I'll click this and this snare. Uh, let's just click the kicks in. And the snares, and then some hi hats. Sure, why not? Super boring beats, but you can actually do it like this also. All right, and I almost tracked it in. Okay, and then we can just play it. And do whatever you feel like. So once you're done, you can just, you go to this pattern here and just drag it in and you've got the beat. Yay. Super simple. Now, if you don't want all the samples to be in the same um, section, you just right click separate by note pits and now you've got the kick, the hi-hats and the snare all separate. The only problem is when you press you want to solo something, you can't do it. So what you need to do is just create another track, drag it over, delete this one, and now it's soloed. Oh, it's actually still playing from here, I believe. Whoops, stop it. Uh, so there's that. 
uh, I've had to do it. If you have another way, by the way, please let me know because it has taken a lot of a lot of time in other songs to separate it all to have a single track. Um, anyway, three ways to make a beat in Logic. Uh, if you have another way or some other ways, uh, please let me know. But this is how I do it.